Hi everyone. Just checking you can hear me as per usual. Can you just give me a comment if you can hear because I'm a bit further away today. Nicola, Nicola, Kimberly, Michelle. Should have put my glasses on because I can't read it. Can everybody hear me okay? Okay, thank you, Nicola. So, hi everyone. If you don't already know me, I'm Jade, who set up this group. I'm the one that normally sits in the corner and asks the questions, but today it's just me. Um, I own Inspirate Baby Photography, so I specialise in mainly newborns, but I do from maternity newborn, sitters, which are like six months-ish, um, and first birthday cake smashes. But today I'm going to just do a little newborn shoot, just um, basic poses that you can safely do at home. I obviously don't recommend that you do any posing such like your head on your hands or you're resting on buckets like this just because it's too dangerous if you don't know what you're doing and you need to be trained so I'm just going to show you things that you can do at home just you and your partner um oh I keep freezing am I freezing for everybody Kimberly's just said I'm freezing I'll carry on um so yeah so first I'm just going to show you what you need and then I'll talk you through each pose and we'll go from there. Um, one thing I will mention as well, anyone that is booked in for the shoot and can't come because I've had to close, I will be supplying literally everything you could possibly need. So those that are booked will be getting the bean bag, um, they get to choose a colour and I'll get blankets, uh, props such as hats, headbands, that sort of thing. Um, I'll get uh, literally everything they could need to do their own photo shoot and I'll also be providing the camera for them not my current camera because it's too expensive <laughs> but um, an old camera which is still amazing quality and I'll put all the settings on and everything and I will give you your personal guide to how to do your own photos so anybody that did want to book a newborn shoot I don't want to advertise because it's not the reason I've done the group but um, that will apply to you as well. So if you wanted to book, but you haven't actually paid to book a photo shoot, just get in touch and then you'll get the proper equipment as well. But regardless of that, this today is things you can find around your own house using your mobile phone. So first of all, I've got my dolls and I have got two, because I know a few ladies in here are expecting twins. Um, so if you just comment, if you do want me to show you how to do the twins, and I'm happy to do that as well. Um, but I've got, so I've got muslin cloths, which, everybody will have. I'm going to use those as wraps. I don't usually use these so I'll be winging it a bit today of how I do that. Um, but I'm just thinking of things that you already have. Um, hat, headband, I've got blankets, I've got a little teddy. These are just flowers that I found around my house and not necessarily props. And I've got a little basket which is like a fruit basket. Um, I've also got scarf so I'm sure everybody will have a scarf lying around and I'll how we'll use all this as well this is just one of Martha's little jackets that I'm going to use as a stuffer and I'll explain what that is later I've got her rug from her bedroom and I've got her washing basket from her bedroom so it's all things that you'll easily find and of course I've got my hand gel people are robbing out of this <laughs> right there's no comment Danielle. Unfortunately Danielle's one of the people that didn't get to come for a newborn shoot because it was a day that we went into lockdown so she'll be getting plan B with a camera and things but hopefully little Ernie can still come in a few weeks and we'll still get photos. Photographed all for a pregnancy blesser and I've not got to do the final one yet. Right so I'm just going to put the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Right, this is just your bog standard bean bag. It's not a photography prop. So if you've got a bean bag at home, if not, you can use a sofa cushion. Um, if you've got like a puffy cushion or anything soft, an ottoman, or even your bed. So this is Martha's blanket from her bed. So all I've done is lay that on top of it and I've just got 
a nice little bit in the middle for baby to lay in. So the most important thing is to make sure you're near a window, natural light, because we're not going to use any photography lighting. So it's not the best day to do it today because it's a bit, although it looks sunny, it's a bit gloomy. So a lot of natural light coming in here but make sure there's a bit of sunshine and you want it to be coming down onto baby if you do this in the middle of I don't know your living room where you've not got much light or you don't need a conservatory as such you can do it in a bedroom anywhere just make sure you've got that light coming in right so first of all we're just going to do the naked poses I know you can't see me but I want you to see what I'm doing so we've got the babies here, right? So I know they've got cloth on them or fabric, whatever it is, but imagine this is a naked baby. So I do recommend not using outfits because it tends to bury newborns and then you lose their faces and arms and legs and you can't really tell how big they are or anything. So start off with them naked and I'd recommend as well having a little heater or near a radiator not too close because you don't want to burn them so just check with your hand that you're not you can't feel too much heat um but they've got to be nice and warm because we feel the heat a lot more than they do so if we're basically hot bothered sweaty messes like i was having my newborn shoots then they'd be comfortable i'm sure that they're not turning blue or anything like that because that means that they're not getting they're going cold the skin's going cold right so first of all we'll just do a nice basic one so i've Gently lay the newborn down. This can be done awake or asleep, although I do recommend that babies are asleep just because you get more chance of getting it right. So you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so baby's just laying down there. If you don't want them to mess on anything and you obviously don't want to see any bits anywhere, you want to cover their dignity, then just get a little muslin cloth. Can everybody see all right, by the way? Is this, do you need it closer or anything? Just let me know if you do and I can move it a little closer. I've got it on my ironing board again. Life hack. Right, did you see what I did there? I just fold, folded the muslin cloth. And I'd probably iron it as well if this was a real shoot. And hide the tags. So you just make it nice and... So arms over. See what I mean? So I'm just covering the nappy. So the nappy's still on, so you're not going to get the blanket messy if they do decide to pour and I'll show you the baby in a minute. So all it is is my phone. So I'm going to come from above. And I'll just show you what I did there. Can everybody see that? And then I'll get a little closer one. And one of the face. And then I'll come round this way as well. And get one from the side. Now this is what you want to do. You don't want to go up the nose. If you can see under the nostrils, it's not a good photo. So I'll show you both so you can see what I mean. Right. So. Let me get this round. So that was a close-up. This is what you don't want. See how you're looking up the nostrils? Not very flattering. Instead do it that way so you're always looking down the nose and sideways and then just get a full one see nice and easy right let me show you how I do it with two babies just in case anybody does want to know so exactly the same get twin number two and nice and close together so they're twitching here. If they're nice and sleepy, you can obviously move their arms, but don't try and pose them too much because that's when things can go horribly wrong. So with twin number two, and I would always recommend having the smaller twin on top because obviously they weigh less. So you see that half, just in fact, I'll do it this way because this baby's bigger. So arm out, gently lay down. And you can't have this pose for long because you don't want any pins and needles or losing blood in their arm or anything. And this baby on top. So they're nice and close together. And then, depending on, obviously I can't do it because you can't really move them, but you could always have their hands touching, 
or however they naturally go, however they're comfortable. They'll let you know if they're comfortable or not. And then heads together. And then again, get the muslin cloth over the nappies. And I'll show you how that looks. <coughs> so just like before, from above, nice and close probably do some from the side and what is a nice one with twins as well is if I go around the back if you just get like the top of the heads it doesn't really work on dolls because it doesn't it looks a bit like a weirdo but and also feet again because the dolls aren't posing properly it's not going to be as good as it would normally look but I can just show you right so, you see? Oh, phone's turning. No. Nope. Close up. Oh. From the side. That's what I mean by above. And I know it looks really weird on a doll, but it would look a lot nicer on real heads. So, from above. And the feet. And normally, Obviously the feet would be a lot better posed, but plastic dolls don't do what you want them to do. Uh, Nicola, could you do it with an older sibling? I need to show you how to do it with a sibling as well. Um, Martha is napping at the moment, so that was my to do this while she's napping. If she's awake, I will show you at the end, but I just don't want to wake her up yet because I need this time. So if she's awake at the end, I will show you how to get a sibling shot. Um, if not, I'll just talk you through it. So, with this as well, if you wanted to put hats and heads on, so say if you've got a boy and a girl, for example, and I know everything I've got is pink, but that's just because I have a daughter. So, you can use obviously whatever colour you want to. And these are those hats and headbands, which are massive for the doors, but just to show you what I mean. Mm -hmm. get there? there we go no <laughs> you get the idea if you can chase it around the screen okay right so next I'm just going to go back to the one baby and then I'll show you again how I do it with two so we'll just keep the headband on for something different so see how I've got the blanket a lot further down here that is so I can put it up over the baby as if they're in a bed so all I would do, see what I've done there, I've just folded it over and pop it over the baby. So you can do this with arms in or arms out or arms up. I'm sure the baby will let you know how they want to be posed. But just as easy as that. And again, I'll do a few different poses. So I'll take one all in. Probably get one of just the head. Get a little angle on one. Maybe one from the side. So this is my thing, I take way too many photos, but I'd rather take too many than not enough, and I've got loads to choose out of. So I'll just show you what I did there. If I can get this to stop turning. There we go. Right. See? Nope. And a close up. And from the side. Okay, on my phone. Okay. And then what I mean by baby's arms up, you know how sometimes they naturally do this, like that, which is always a lovely photo. Here as well, if you've got somebody to help you, like an older sibling that can take a photo, or even if you just need to take it in turns, mum and dad to do it, you could actually, I mean I can't take the photo because there's only one of me, but if somebody came behind and just have the baby hold on to fingers and then when you've got the photo it just cuts you off at the wrist or if one parent was either side could have one come in here and one the other side and then just take it with obviously hands in the side which is always really really cute okay and 
I'll just show you exactly the same with a sibling, uh, with a twin, sorry. So just like I posed them last time, next to each other. So they'd obviously still be in the same position as last time. And if you have got twins as well, I think it's still really important to take the individual photos because I have a lot of twins in the family and twin friends and they all say how they've got their own identities as well as being a twin. So when they're older, they might not want to just see photos of the both of them. They might want to see their own as well. And I think it's nice to have their own as well as together. Obviously they're twins and they'll always hopefully be together, but it's still nice to get their own individual photos as well. So, see what I did there? Just one arm out each. Yep. And again, you can have them hold hands and things, but I can't do that with a doll. Okay, so next, I'm going to do the side leg. Now this is the most posed one that I will do because I don't want to do too many posy photos and you do it wrong and hurt the baby. And just bear in mind that you can hurt a baby by posing so please don't try. I know you want your posy photos but your baby's more important, like their life's more important. Sorry, I'm just going to tell you off there. Okay, so with the baby, if they're on the back, just gently turn them onto their side and they should naturally do this anyway. Just make sure they're not back heavy because then they'll roll back and they'll start all to wake up and you don't want that. So you're just gently bringing them forwards. What you can do is just make sure like their hip here is just over a little bit more. See, can you tell how I did that then from a distance? Rather than like that, so they're almost not onto their belly, but more belly. Does that make sense? And then with this arm, so it's not squashed underneath them like that. And again, if they're on the, if it's underneath them, they can do this and then land on their tummy. And obviously that's having this as well. So with this hand, you just want to gently put it under the chin. And again, it looks like it's on a real baby. So if they're laying down, doing this so in my photos I normally get both hands and do this but I'm not going to tell you to do that it requires a lot more and I want your baby to be safe so this other hand just be does that make sense with their legs just knees together feet together this baby doesn't want to do it but yeah. and then again put the muslin cloth and just pop it over the neck and just scrunch it up a little bit if you have it flat it just looks a bit rubbish right, let me show you what this looks like so I take one from above and take one from the front again remember to go down the nose I'm just going to come in and take a close up and this one's nice as well if you can get like the eyelashes and things. Not all newborns have eyelashes. Martha didn't until she was born. I can't remember actually, but she didn't have until she was born. Okay. So, from above. From the side. And then just looking down the nose a little bit. And from above, close up. And this is where you see the eyelash details and things okay does anybody have any questions so I know I'm just going through it quite fast no okay right I'll show you how to do the wrapping one next I'll sit back up because I always do this one on my lap Right, so when I wrap a baby, I'll always put them on my knee, so their bum is close to my belly, and their legs are up, because I'm going to put those down in a minute. This was really hard to do when I was pregnant. <laughs> so with your muslin cloth, obviously it's quite big, so 
so if you just fold it up so it's about three quarters like that so it's not fully folded can you tell what I'm doing or you can use a scarf for this which is obviously longer but if you are using a muslin cloth and just make sure the tags not on show so the flappy bit is inside imagine the baby's not here I wouldn't put it on a baby's head usually. so if you can see what I mean so the nice bit is going to be on the top of the shoulders so with your baby gently lay them on it legs up and just bring it down a little bit so you want this just behind their neck and I know I usually do quite a bit of wrapping technique but I won't show you any of that I'll just show you how to basic do it at home so with your legs as long as they've got no hip or joint problems I always ask my clients if they've got anything that the hospital have said they need to come and see a specialist for if they have then I wouldn't recommend doing this because you could cause pain on the baby but if everything's fine you've had the all clear just cross their legs over can you see that if I put it down like this which angle is better better for you like that or like I can do it both just let me know okay so legs up like this don't go too high don't the legs will naturally go like that they've been used to it being like this for nine months they like it so with this bottom I'll just put it over the legs and then just hold the legs in place make sure their arms are up Okay, and then this, just bring it round and tuck it in. Okay, arms are up. Bring it round and tuck it in. And you want it nice and tight, not too tight. You know, you don't want to lose any blood circulation or cut off any limbs. But and just make sure it's all nicely tucked under. But you can fix that once the baby's on the blanket. And just make sure the hands are out, otherwise it just looks a bit creepy, like they're just ahead. So, okay. And the hands would ideally be a little bit higher, but it's just because it's a doll, it won't really do that. Or even sit them on top of each other, which is what I do quite a lot when I do the, it's called a potato. I'm not going to show you that, because it's too dangerous for you to try, not for me, don't worry. <laughs> okay. I'll show you with another baby as well, so I can show you how to do this with twins. So I do it exactly the same way. This baby's a bit harder, it's a bit stiffer. So, do you want me to do it this way this time? People are size is better. Okay, so exactly the same again. Make sure the tag, there's a tag, I've got one up there, isn't in the shot. So like this. Make sure that bit's at the top. And then place baby down. These legs don't bend very well, but that's just a good example. So if you do want to do the wrapping, but you can't bend the leg, either they're uncomfortable or you've had to be referred to a specialist because they've got hips and joints problems, don't cross the legs. So you can still maybe cross them like this, but don't put them up on the belly. This is also really good for natural winding as well, because you obviously just forcing anything out naturally so if they're constipated or anything another reason to definitely wear a nappy because babies always poo in this pose so this one I'll do a little differently I'm just going to fold the legs like this okay so I've just put that over the toes arms up again nicely come over nice and tight not too tight Same again this side and pop under. Let me just show you. So because the legs are down, you're not gonna have nice like I hope I can remember all this. <laughs> it's alright Lydia, I've I've got a step by step photo guide as well, so don't worry. Right, and then just tuck that bit under. So can you see the difference? So if you've got twins, you might want to do them the same, so they're not completely different sizes. But see the difference? I can't work out on my camera, so there you go. So one would be longer, even though they're almost the same size. But just for this, I'll show you. Okay, so 
we'll start off with one baby first. So exactly the same, plonk back to the middle where it was. No, don't plonk, don't think. So hands out. And this is where, because I'm a perfectionist, and things book me, they're not right. Just make sure it's nice and neat, you haven't got any tags hanging out, you've not got any flappy bits, because if that was like that, that would really bug me. And obviously you've not got Photoshop to fix it, so just make sure it's all in. Nicely tucked under them. And that bit's annoying me, so I'll just... Okay. Take some photos. And then from the side, down the nose, and a close up. Okay. So, from above, from the side, down the nose, and a close up. baby number two and there's a few different wrapping techniques so if you wanted to wrap them together I'll quickly show you that as well so just put baby next to the other one again just make sure it's all nice and neat and sometimes feet poke out which is actually quite nice I do a bit of both in my shoots so because this one naturally popped out, like your babies might, I'm just going to leave it. Heads together, always looking up. Any more comments there? If I've missed any comments, post them again because it's moving really fast. Okay, so from above, close up, from the side, and with twins, I do it both sides as well, so you're not favouriting one over the other. So see what I mean with the foot out as well? Okay. So close up, nice angled one, and again. Okay. While you're doing all this, obviously remember the hats and the headbands and things. I've just kept it really simple, but pop them on. If they've got a favourite teddy or anything, you can also add that in. So for twins, for example, I might put it in between them. I'll just show you what I mean. It was just one baby. I would just maybe loosen the wrap a little bit. with a doll. It's a lot easier with a real baby. Okay. Right. Does everything make sense so far? Because I'm going to go on to the prop ones. Does anybody need me to go over anything with the beanbag poses? Hannah's going to try this later with a five day old. Congratulations Hannah. I've just unwrapped that baby and I need it wrapped. Right, I don't think anybody's got any questions. Right, I'm going to go on to the prop ones. Now these ones are a bit more dangerous if you like, because babies can fall out of props, so always make sure you've got, some, well you should have somebody anyway, by the way, a spotter, and that just means dad, older sibling for example, would just be here next to baby. But in this, obviously, the baby's not going anywhere because it's nicely pushed down. But if you're using a bed or a cushion, babies do roll, even at a few days old. 
So just make sure someone's always there because if you're too busy taking your photos, you're not going to be close enough to just grab the baby if it moves. So just make sure somebody's always close by. Right, so <clears throat> get rid of the bean bag. So using the same blanket, I'm going to put it down the door. So you can either have this neat or messy. I'll do a neat one first just to show you. So again, by the light. And this is where my little basket's going to come in. So, oh, right. can everybody see? Okay, and I'll put the basket. So, with the light, you want to make sure it's coming in on the head. So, I'll just talk about that baby as well. So, if the baby was like that, and don't put the baby just in a basket like this, by the way, the light is coming in on the side. You want it there, so it's coming down. I hope that makes sense. So don't do what I just did and shove a baby in there. So this is just Martha's little jacket that I'm going to use as a stuffer. So if you've got I don't know, a jumper, a scarf, another blanket, anything with texture, so I'm just going to pop that in there. Half of the props I have in my studio aren't actually props. They're just things I find and think, oh, that would make a nice photo. Okay, so I'll just use that as a stuffer. If there's not enough padding on the head, just get a little bit of or even a nappy, anything, and just pop it there. So now it's nice and soft for the baby. Just make sure that they're never, because obviously if that's like that, that's going to be really comfortable. So you can keep the baby wrapped, or again you can go naked. If you want to play it safe, stay wrapped, but always make sure someone's really close by. So I'll do both, just to show you. So if you've got a naked baby, we'll put my headband on. Just, which is ten times too big for it. Gently pop it down. And then this is where the legs can be folded again. Just make sure that whatever fabric you've got is there so your baby's legs aren't touching it. Because again, it'll be cold and comfortable, could scratch them. So just make sure that's like that. And also, if you're putting your baby in, don't put it like that because it'll fall out. Don't put it like that it will fall out and don't be like that just because it looks rubbish okay so bums in the bottom bit legs would normally fold headband on hide the tag not that your baby would have a tag right and these are just flowers from my house you can use I don't know flowers from your garden but just be careful that they're not dangerous to babies. I don't actually know what's dangerous and what's not because I don't normally use real flowers but just have a little google before. So with this, I'll just lay them out here. You can also get the babies to hold things as well if they're nice and sleepy. And again, with this one, I would recommend that your baby's asleep just because there's less chance of them moving about. And this one I'm just going to put up here. Okay. I'm just going to get that wrap again. It's the muslin. Fold it. Fold it. And imagine this is a naked baby with a nappy. Just like I did on the bean bag. Took it around the nappy because nappies don't look very nice in the photos. I see it, a lot, it just but obviously you don't want to show anything, you shouldn't. And then let's fill that up again. Have some flowers poking out. So I know you can't see what I've done at the back, but I'll show you in this photo. Just make tags are showing on the ends either or 
whatever fabric you're using. So from above, close up, do one from the side, get a close up of the eyes. Because the foot's poking out, I'm just going to get a nice one of the foot. So see how I put the flowers at the side here and I just ruffled the fabric, put some on the other side. A close up. One from the side. And one again going down the nose. And just some of the feet. Upside down. Okay. So when you are doing a side one Obviously you don't want it like that, because then you'll see the background. Always make sure in, ca in camera that everything's perfect, unless you know how to use Photoshop, obviously. Right, so what am I doing next? I'll show you a twin one in the next prop. So if you are doing it with twins, just make sure the prop is big enough for them both. So this one. If I've got two Prenny twins, which I know twins usually are, I could probably do it. But because these dolls are quite big, I'm not going to recommend it. I'll show you in the next one. And obviously if you've got a boy, you might not want to use flowers, but this sort of stuff's nice for boys. I get that request quite a lot that I use just greenery. If you've got any plants about, I don't know, any like wooden to look nice, things like that. Next, I'm going to use the washing basket. So this is literally just Martha's washing basket from her room, which is nice and deep. So I've already put a blanket inside. And here, I'm going to use the rug from her bedroom, which I've just folded up. And I've stuffed it in, like that. So if I show you with a wrapped baby this time, just in case you do want to keep the baby wrapped. I forgot to say, the reason I do wrap on a chair, I'll just show you, right, is because if the baby starts crying, staring, I can just naturally rock or bounce or if I want to get under the baby I can do this so I mean can you see that and I can get under without the baby even knowing that they've moved so just quickly wrap this is this making sense to everybody is it helping And with this one, with the props, what we want is a baby laying on top because obviously they can roll. If they startle, babies have been known to fly forward, so just bear that in mind. So make sure they're nice, firm, bums down, only the head is out. And again, you would have your partner here, hands ready, so if the baby did move, they could just do this while you're up here taking the photo. I'm just going to ruffle the blanket for this one because I kept it straight on the last one. Just for a bit of a different look. And as you can see, it's nothing fancy, it's just to ruffle it. Uh, oh, Katie, can't wait to do it. You've got to come to me though, Katie, not do your own. <laughs> Again, because it's ruffled, I've some of the blanket, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just fixing it, making sure that it's all in shot. So, take one from above, one from the side, and a nice little close up. So, 
See, so baby's down on the side. You can have that either way, that way, and a close up. And I'll show you with twins. Martha's awake, but if she is, I'll quickly show you how to do the sibling one. Although she might not play ball because she's 19 months and they don't tend to at that age. But that's just realistic, so if you do have an older sibling, they might not want to do it the first time, depending on their age. It's harder at this age. If they're a little bit older, you can bribe them with chocolate or and see how I'm sat down for this one. So I don't always use my chair. Sometimes I do this, and again, you can do that. Open. Uh, would this work outside, or would it be too cold? No, I wouldn't do it outside. Not unless you're trained into knowing how and what to do. Not unless the baby was wrapped up really well, and it was a nice day. I wouldn't recommend it personally. You can make it look like it's outdoors if you've got the right props and accessories. Like some of my photos that look like they're outdoors, they're not, they're all done in the studio. Uh, thank you, your signal will be fab. Okay. We'll try and get off then. Oh, I think I just heard her, so hopefully. I just put these a bit in there as well. So if you lean them into each other, can you see? See, how they were both up like that, just tilt that baby, tilt that baby. See how they just look like they're connected more. Heads together, and again, you can have them hold hands. You could even put, I haven't got one, oh, I've got this. It's not the right color, but just to show you what I mean. And you could do this on the beanbag as well. I forgot to mention that. So if you do have want to like connect them more, you could just have that and like ruffle that. And again you can put your covers down or whatever you want to do. Right, take a photo. Just gonna move that because I can see the floor. So if you have got Photoshop, you might not need to worry about this because in the studio I just Photoshop bits like that, but up. And these dolls are really dirty. I don't know what Martha's been doing. I wash them. Does anybody else wash plastic dolls or is that weird? Okay. So. I'm right. Does that make sense? Uh, let's read the comments. Oh, four year old and two year old. Two year olds, sometimes they're amazing, sometimes they are, what they see on the tin, terrible twos. <laughs> but at least you can bribe them at that age. It's just catching them in a good mood. The good thing about doing it at home is that you can just come back to it and don't get too stressed because parents when they're in a shoot with me I can see them they're getting stressed because their baby's been crying for an hour or they're just not going to sleep they're not doing what I want them to do it doesn't matter that's why I say there's no time limit on a shoot it feels like Kage is saying it could take up to four hours but once you're there it's not long I need half hour to do a newborn shoot if it was asleep the whole time or good the whole time it's literally just the waiting for them to settle or the feed or whatever so don't rush it. If you feel stressed, go and have a cup of tea or try again tomorrow. There's no rush. You can do this. That the sleepy poses, I do up to six weeks old. If they're wrapped, 10 to 12 weeks old. If they're a little bit older, which is what I call my smiler sessions, then you do exactly the same, but they're just awake and you've got a smile, so it's really cute. So don't worry about the time limit. Um, it's not like, oh, I need to do it today. It's fine. Although, when I, I tried to do Martha's newborn photo shoot and it was horrendous because she just wouldn't do what I wanted her to do. Photographer's child syndrome. 
Right, if you bear with me, I will just go and see if she's awake. If you've got any questions, just write them down now so I can answer when I'm back. I'll put that down ready in case she is. And this is how I found her. She hi. likes to undress. Are you going to say hi? Good girl. <laughs> Can we take your dummy out? Ta. Right. So, if you've got a boy, it always looks nicer if they're topless, if you want the artistic look. No, you don't need that. Good girl. Good girl, yeah. So, again, you can use a blanket. I'm going to use her rug again for this. So this is a rug from her bedroom, put it on the bean bag. You can do this on the floor, on a bean bag, I usually do it on the floor. Uh, what's best to dress older siblings in? So yeah, if you've got a boy, no we don't want to eat that, uh, jeans, white t-shirt, cream t-shirt, <laughs> um, a girl, like a lacy dress, cream, white, just nice natural colours, but this is what I'm going to show you. It looks nicer if boys are topless, if you want artsy style. Look, can we put this around you? And this is the worst age to do it with, by the way, because she's <coughs> doesn't cooperate. Should we put this there? Ah, oh, wow. See how I just wrap that around her? Look, should we show everybody? <gasps> wow. <laughs> and can you lay down? Dr. Cuddle Bubba? I bet she's wondering what I'm doing. Do you want to cuddle Baba? So then just get the baby. And you will need help with this one if they're not enough to hold the baby. Right, lie down. Lie down. Good girl. It's okay. It's okay. Still got a tag on that. Look, do you want to cuddle Baba? Ah, uh, so under the arm. I'm just going to take it really quick and then I'll talk you through it just so you know just in case she jumps up. And that's why you need a spotter, because children do tend to just shove the babies out of the way. Give a cuddle. Ah, uh, nice cuddle. Don't strangle her. No, don't hit her. Be gentle. Give her a kiss. Uh, <laughs> this is not going to plan. <laughs> well, you've unwrapped the baby. This would be a lot easier with your own child if you weren't trying to teach it and you had to right, give her a cuddle. No. <gasps> what can I bribe you with? Do you want chop chop? Yeah. Yeah. Give her a cuddle, then we'll get chop chop. Yeah. Look at mummy. Say cheese. Look, yeah. what's this? What's this? Uh, can she have a kiss? Give baby a kiss. Okay, she's not going to do it, but... It's always nice if they give the side of the head a kiss. Or I will show you what I did just get. Obviously, spend longer if it's your child and bribe them with whatever usually works. So, what I mean was, so don't do that to a baby. Ah, oh, poor Baba. Give her a kiss better. Good girl. Yeah. Um, so, which photo is better? So see how her arm is under the baby. So just and you'd red here. Stop throwing the baby like this. And then ideally you'd have the hands come round. So like this, but on the floor. And then the other hand on top. If you've got two or more older siblings, have the baby in the middle and the other sibling there. If there's another one another one at the end and so on you can also do like upside down ones imagine this is on the floor not literally upside down so like this if imagine this was a photo from above look at her she's looking really confused <laughs> um and then a nice one 
Did we get a kissing one? Did you do it? Or are you being naughty? <laughs> see what I mean? That's always a really nice photo. And see how semi-professional it looks just by using nice props. Oh. Right. Does anybody have any questions? Because I'm pretty much done. I'll take you back to... I'm just going to put her back in there because she's a real distraction. If you've got any questions, just type them now because there is a little bit of a lag and I don't want to miss them before I turn the camera off. Come on then, you can take your baby if you want to take your baby. Ooh. <coughs> Good girl. Obviously I can't do it on myself, but if you wanted parent shots, just use a wall, it's a backdrop, and you not many like posy posy photos, so obviously I normally pose my mum's sort of like, not like, like this, but I wouldn't expect you to do that, so with yourself, with you and your partner, just, you know how you naturally would birth a baby? Just like this. And Imagine if I'm on a plain wall, like grey, white, cream, anything really. So this baby's head doesn't turn. Don't force a head to turn because not all babies will want to. But it should naturally turn a little bit more. So hand under bum. Always support the head. And just like this. Looking, looking down, kissing. Um, if you've got older kids in your house that need to work and take a photo, you can both jump in. So say, this is dad. Have mum come here, both look at the camera, your older son or daughter can take a photo. You can always put it on a timer, get a family photo, get them to come and stand here. Um, yeah, so there's that pose. There's your standard how you'd hold a baby pose. Just make sure that they're more upright, so you don't want a photo like this. More like this. See what I mean? Um, what else could you do that's safe? If you've done the hands one, have an eye. That's pretty much it that I can tell you to do in a safe way. I don't want you to put any baby in danger. Uh, yeah, Charlotte, I hope you don't need this. That's somebody else that's booked in for a photo shoot. So many of my potential clients are in here as well. And it's a shame that I might not be able to do it for you. But it's never too late to get photos of your baby, ever. You'll always appreciate whatever age they are. And like I say, for my clients, I've got the plan B where I'll lend you my camera, lend you all the equipment you could need, and I'll talk you through it. So I'll even FaceTime you and talk you through it if needs be. So you won't miss out. And when we can finally open the doors again, you'll obviously get priority and you'll be straight in the studio and we'll get you gorgeous photos. Uh, just read the comments. So they're leaving the pregnancy. Yeah, hopefully. Anne Marie, it will be okay by the time you've had your baby. Um, would you remember some of the ideas? Baby brain and sleepless nights. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I'm still going through that. I've realised looking at myself how tired I look because Martha did not sleep last night at all. She's normally a good sleeper, it's typical. I'm just thinking, wow, my bags are awful. I actually put makeup on for the first time today in about two weeks, which is positive of being in isolation. Nobody sees you. I didn't brush my hair though. I promised you guys that I'd brush my hair today, but I just shoved it up. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, Dan, I will. Well, I've already done a guide that I did post in the group, but I'll post the same today, which is just photos that I did before. Um, step by step, how to do it with a description. And obviously, if anybody does have any questions, just message me. I'm more than happy to help advise. If you want to send me photos of props you're thinking of using, like is this basket okay, is this outfit okay, I can put any guys. I'm around, I'm not doing much else, I'm stuck in, doing nothing, that's why I'm posting so much in the group, so I'm not used to it, I'm working like crazy. So it's actually been quite nice doing this today, as sad as that sounds, but it's been nice to actually just 
get to do something I love again, although it's with a doll, but yeah. You know. <laughs> right, I think that's all the questions, so I'm going to end it here. But thank you for everybody that joined me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's just being a mum, isn't it? That's under your eyes. I think since having Martha, I've never looked so tired. That's why I wear my glasses sometimes, because you look less tired, because they sit here and hide your bags, so. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, thank you, everybody. And if you do want a newborn shoot or any sort of photography, come to me. But, no, it, I'm not doing this group to advertise. Um, it's great if you do come to me, but if not, just enjoy everything that I'm putting in here, all the classes that you're getting. Um, if you do want any more classes that I've not posted, don't put them in. If you've got an idea, um, just ask me, say, oh, have you thought about this? And I can approach some businesses. Um, if you know anybody that wants to get involved, obviously it's all voluntary. Everybody that's doing it is doing it free because um, I'm not being paid for it, so I'm not paying anybody else. <laughs> um, but yeah, get in touch and hopefully we'll keep this group going until we're back to normal. Um, the thing I did post yesterday was the gender reveal for your partner and I went on posting it yesterday but it was just so hectic um, but Joe is actually home today so I can I did start it before doing this video so I will definitely definitely post that today and that's just an idea of if you have to find out first at your gender scan and um, which is not the best situation but we can turn that negative into a positive and I've got a really great idea how you can tell your partner and make it a fun and exciting rather than oh I had to find out on my own but no I had to find out on my own but, but I made this really great plan and it worked out really well and this is how we did it and that's exactly what so I will post that at some point today I'm going to finish it now I keep looking over there because it's on the sofa but I'm not going to show you um, I'll hopefully get that and I'll post it in a couple of hours because I need to actually do it around my house and take photos of it so I'll get that up um, but yeah, any questions obviously just pop them in the comments and I'll answer as soon as I can but thank you everybody for tuning in and it was my first live and I was really nervous so <laughs> bye